This week on Better Know an Island, we present to you from the deep south of the Galapagos, and obviously the best island in the chain, Floriana Island. Okay, from that angle, it's not exactly beautiful, but don't give up on it just yet. Floriana Island formed in a volcanic eruption. Its highest peak is shown here, known as Cerro Bajas. Wow, that's fun to say. This is known as the Devil's Crown. It is an underwater volcanic cone located off the northeast point of the island. It is notable because it has become a favorite dive and snorkeling site in the Galapagos. This distinguished mustachioed gentleman is Juan Jose Flores. And before you ask yourself, why should I care, just remember, he was the first president of Ecuador and Floriana Island is named after him. What have you done lately? Here in the United States, when we think of male, we think of these guys. Of course, that's not the case everywhere. For example, if you lived on Floriana Island, this would be your post office and mailbox. Only, your mailman wouldn't come in a truck, they would come in a boat. Actually, I don't know if that's still true. However, in the 19th century, whaling boats would use Floriana Island as a post office. They would drop off letters in a barrel left on the beach, and other boats would pick up the letters and carry them to their destination. This is a tradition still carried on today, as tourists leave letters without postage in the barrel for other tourists to deliver. Humanity has not always been kind to Floriana Island. In 1819, a Nantucket whaling ship known as the Essex landed on the island to replenish its fresh water. A foolish sailor by the name of Thomas Chapel set a fire as a prank, but the season was dry and the entire island was soon ablaze. At this point, you're probably wondering, why am I looking at a picture of Moby Dick? Well, Karma paid a visit to the Essex and its crew. One year after the fire that covered Floriana Island, a bull sperm whale attacked and sank the ship. However, justice was not yet done. This tale inspired the novel by Herman Melville that has been terrorizing readers ever since. Hi everyone, my name is TJ and I'll be talking about the Floriana Island fauna. And by the end, you too will become fond of the fabulous Floriana fauna. Here we have a male medium ground finch. In 1977, a severe drought reduced the supply of seeds in the Galapagos. The finch, which normally preferred small and soft seeds, was forced to turn to harder, larger seeds. Subsequently, there has been a 10% change in the size of beaks for these finches in a couple of generations. John Boehner Here we see the female medium ground finch. Upcoming are several pink flamingos, experts in water gliding and not knowing who the heck to mate with. Here we see an inquisitive blue-footed booby. Yes, I indeed said that correctly. Interestingly, the blueness of its feet is an indicator of the bird's health, since the color comes from pigments obtained from a diet of fresh fish. Here we see an Here's Nancy! What an eyeball resemblance! Next, we'll see the blue-footed booby's mating ritual as a male hopes to win a female's heart.
<laughs> now we have the male magnificent frigate bird. Currently, he is deflated. But when he blows up to his final form, he can either float in water or rise up in the air like a hot air balloon. Up next is a frigate bird mating call. Did I forget to mention that the bird loves giving itself massive headaches? And if you ever come to Florian Island, feel free to completely invade a frigate bird's privacy. Crush the sea turtle from Finding Nemo takes residence here. Thank you all for your attention, and please stay tuned for a short clip. To visit Florian Island, you can make a down payment of $1,000, and please visit www.florianislandisawesomesbro.com for more information. Thank you.